I had a great phone call the other day with uh, an old friend, Michael Klaus. Michael was the editor in chief of Upline for a while. He's a he's a great platform speaker. Um, I just admire him. He's an author, and I love the way his mind works. And Michael, we were reminiscing and just catching back up again. I was asking about some of the stuff he was doing and where he was speaking. And he asked me, uh, he said, John, what's the number one cause of death for network marketers? <laughs> I said, excuse me? <laughs> he said, what's the number one cause of death of network marketers? I, t I said, uh, 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 bleh. And I said, well, you know, Michael, I think it's belief. But then I say that about everything. I think that's the number one cause of everything. And he, so he, he began to explain. And he, Michael loves his backstories. And he said, I was sitting around one night and watching uh, one of these crime TV shows. Do you ever watch those like CSI this and, you know, CSI Miami and CSI New York? And I said, yeah, I've, I've seen them. And he said, they all have one thing in common. They all have autopsies. Every show has an autopsy because these are unnatural uh, deaths. They're, they're, they're not deaths by natural causes. And so they investigate them. And he said that caused him to think about in network marketing, we have this business model which is so stunning that really just about anybody can do it. And so when a network marketer dies, when they quit, when they give up, especially one who's had some success in the past, why don't we do an autopsy? And he said, that's what I did. He went and he called uh, a number of leaders that he's worked with and he got their permission to contact some of their people who'd been successful in the business, but were now gone. They were, for all intents and purposes, dead. And he, he asked a series of questions. I don't know exactly what the questions are. But what he learned, I, I think, was fascinating. The number one cause of death of network marketers is that someone within their circle of influence, someone whose opinion they valued, told them network marketing was a bad idea. Now, bad idea is going to take many shapes and forms and sizes. Uh, uh, network marketing doesn't work. Uh, it's a pyramid scheme. You can't do it. Uh, it's not legal, overpriced, you know, all of the myriad of reasons. But they really come down to a general category of network marketing is a bad idea. And someone, some person of influence, got that idea into that network marketer's head. And that was the cause of death. And, you know, I, it, it's debatable, of course, but I really don't think so. I mean, I have a black car, and I hate it. <laughs> I just despise it. Because for the entire time, I've had this car for 11 years now. It's a Mercedes, and I, I love it. Um, for the entire time I've had it, it has been dirty. It's never clean. Uh, the moment I come out of the car wash, it's dirty again. And I live on dirt roads. And a person of influence got me to select black. I was going for gray. And my then 18-year-old daughter said to me, No, Dad, that's for old people. Gray, that silver gray is for old people. You want something sexy, something that makes you look like a rock star. Get black. And I did. And I've regretted it ever since. She was, for me, a person of influence. And in a network marketer's life, there are husbands and wives and relatives and brothers and uncles and successful people in other fields that if they say, look, that's a bad idea, and that gets into that networker's head and heart, they're done. That was the number one cause of death that Michael found out. And there was a number two, and number two is equally fascinating, and that is they didn't know what to do. No one taught them, told them what to do. Um, Tom Schreider is, is famous for saying that uh, what people really need to know is what to do and what to say, what to do and what to say. And what Michael discovered was the number two reason that people died in network marketing was they weren't taught what to do and what to say. So number one cause of death for network marketers is belief. Someone got into their head that this was a bad idea. And the number two cause um, was they didn't know what to do and they didn't know what to say. 
So as a network marketer, as a sponsor, as an upline, this is what your work is. This is what my work is. We really have to help our people establish a rock-solid belief in the company, in the business model, in themselves especially. And we need to teach them what to do and what to say.